are you? I'm the Huntress, and you're the prey. Well, Batman's Bat Family is one of the most popular teams of superheroes in the DC Universe, there are a lot of underrated characters associated with Batman in the alternate universes. One of these characters is Huntress, also known as Helena Wayne, and she was Batman's biological daughter with Selina Kyle on an alternate Earth 2. Huntress first appeared in the DC Superstar comics in 1977, and she has ever since appeared in various story arcs ranging from the Arrow vs. Crisis on Infinite Earths to the Birds of of Prey animated series. Today, we'll explore her character arc in detail and tell you everything about this lesser known daughter of Batman. Before we go into our explanation, we have a very small request. If you like our content, please support us by subscribing to our channel. This is a small click for you, but for us, it means a lot. Thank you, let's begin. Exploring the origins of Helena Wayne, how she became the Huntress. When Barry Allen was introduced in the DC Universe in 1956, the universe was split into two different worlds wherein the Golden Age heroes lived on Earth 2 while the modern day heroes inhabited Earth 1. After the Golden Age Batman settled on Earth 2 with Catwoman, Helena Wayne was introduced to keep their legacy alive and to introduce a character who would take on the mantle of Batman in this timeline if needed. In this alternate timeline on Earth 2, Bruce Bruce Wayne and Selina Kyle were a married couple blessed with a daughter in 1957. They named her Helena Wayne, and she grew up without knowing much about her mother's past life. However, Selina passed away when Helena was just 19 years old. Soon after, a henchman named Silky Cernak circulated a picture of Selina defeating a police officer during her days as Catwoman. While Helena is upset about her mother's image being tarnished, she adopts a new persona as the Huntress and sets out to track Silky Cernak. She soon finds him and puts him under a arrest before leaving his unconscious body in a net outside the GCPD. She also investigates the picture and finds out that it was just an edit and she ensures that her mother's honor is restored. After everything falls into place, she continues to work as the Huntress and fight crime in Gotham City. Let us explore some of her major comic book and series appearances and cover Helena Wayne's major story arcs. Some of her major story arcs. As the Huntress, Helena Wayne looks up to Dick Grayson as her mentor and even joins the Justice Society of America. When Bruce Wayne passes the mantle of Batman to Dick Grayson, Huntress fights by his side to defeat the Joker. Helena and Dick also fought side by side during the Crisis of Infinite Earth, wherein their Earth 2 was destroyed completely and they were left in a position where no history of their world ever existed. Helena, as well as the other Earth 2 heroes, then helped defend the primary Earth. During this story arc, Helena fought against Anti-Monitor's shock face in order to defend Earth, and she was also attacked by an entity named Thunderers. During this battle, Helena sacrificed her life in order to save a group of children and was killed by the Thunderers, who burned her to death. Dick Grayson, her mentor, also dies in this fight beside her, and their characters were later reintroduced in the New 52 reboot. While the story arc followed the Huntress's original storyline that was introduced in the DC Superstar comics, various versions of this character were introduced introduced in the Silver Era, during New 52, and in the post-New 52 DC. Helena Wayne's Adventures in the Silver Age A more ruthless version of the Huntress was introduced in the Silver Age. In this era, Huntress worked alongside the Justice Society of America to fight crime and was also a recurring character in the first volume of the Wonder Woman comics on Earth 2. While these comics introduced Helena as a lead character in the backup storylines, she dealt with dark themes, such as torture and kidnapping. Helena Wayne often faced an opponent in the form of the villain known as Earthworm, and she made acquaintances with various characters from the Golden Era, such as Dick Grayson. Helena also appeared briefly in the Superman Batman comics, wherein Batman and Superman end up switching bodies with the Huntress and Power Girl during an encounter with the entity known as Ultra Humanite. While Huntress's body now serves as a medium for Batman to operate from, the vigilante soon realizes that her mind is slipping away. As the comic progresses, they team up to track down the Ultra Humanite and switch their bodies before her mind completely slips away. Helena Wayne in the post-crisis of Infinite Earth arc. After the New 52 event, the multiverse was restored, and a new version of Earth 2 was introduced, wherein Helena encounters Power Girl, and the two become best friends. In the New 52 reboot, Helena Wayne was reintroduced as Batman and Catwoman's daughter, who grows up to become the Huntress. However, this version also introduces Helena Wayne as the Robin of Earth 2 before she goes on to adopt the identity of the Huntress. 
Helena Wayne as Helena Bertinelli in the new 52. Another version of Huntress was introduced as Helena Bertinelli after the Crisis on Infinite Earth story arc. A recent Huntress comic series revealed that Helena Bertinelli was Helena Wayne's alias in this current continuity. She had appeared in this form in the post-crisis DC universe, wherein she goes on a mission to hunt down various mafia members in Italy. The comic was first issued in 2011, and it had a total of six issues which began with Helena Bertinelli's return to Italy. She sneaks past customs to ensure that her weapons and costumes aren't confiscated, and soon dresses up as the Huntress. Helena first follows a tip about a cargo container carrying drugs to Gotham City, and she opens the container to find it full of young girls who were going to be trafficked. Helena rescues the girls, finds a shipment of contraband guns stored in the cargo, and then blows them up before leaving the scene. It turns out that the shipment belonged to Mr. Moretti, who is furious about the guns being lost. He alerts his forces about the Huntress's presence, while Helena meets with a reporter and tells him about this case of human trafficking. She also assures him that she will do something about it, and soon checks into a hotel and asks for a prostitute to be sent to her room. When a pimp shows up at her door with a young girl, Helena beats him up and then talks to the girl to gain more information about the men who had employed her. She contacts these men and eventually uses a pressure point to make the girl fall unconscious, and then also knocks out the rest of the men who appeared outside of her room. After tying them all up in her room, Helena leaves the scene while one of Moretti's men tracks them down and kills them all. In the next issue, Helena breaks into a police station to look up some criminal records of the human traffickers, but soon leaves when a police officer spots her. Meanwhile, Mr. Moretti talks to the Maghreb about his plans to send another shipment of guns, and even decides that he will kill the Huntress if she sabotages his mission again. Helena also finds out Moretti's real identity after approaching a morgue's undertaker and then informs her contacts at the newspaper about him. Two people named Christina and Alessandro tell her that Moretti is well known for sex trafficking and gun smuggling, and Helena proposes that they should sabotage his mission. She shows up at the scene when one of Moretti's tankers arrives from the Maghreb and realizes that Moretti has trapped the young girls inside the tankers. She observes while the men drag the girls out of the container and then shows up at the scene and rescues them by ushering them into a school bus. Helena then defeats the tanker's guards and even blows it up with explosives before driving the school bus away. Helena later shows up outside Moretti's place and stalks him and realizes that he is trying to escape through international waters. Helena then uses her crossbow to fire a GPS-enabled arrow at the boat and decides to hunt him down to make him pay for his crimes one way or another. In the next issue, the Huntress tracks Moretti down and realizes that the police are also on his side, enabling his behavior. She lurks outside his yacht and learns that he is soon meeting with the son of the chairman of an organization named Kufra. Helena further learns that this man is named Mustafa ibn Hassan and that he is most likely the person who is behind the human trafficking. She contacts Alessandro and fills him in on everything she has learned, before following Moretti to an amphitheater where he is supposed to meet Mustafa. Moretti realizes that the Huntress is following him, and he rushes to his yacht with Mustafa while they discuss their deals. In the meantime, Mustafa's father plans to hand over the role of the chairman to his son and decides to take asylum in Italy. While Hassan prepares the next shipment of girls, Helena gets into a battle with one of his men. The man refers to himself as the Lion of Kufra, but Helena soon manages to knock him out before heading after Moretti. In the fourth issue, Helena tries to keep an eye on Mustafa and Moretti and looks for any chance to lurk around Moretti's yacht. Eventually, she sneaks into the yacht and wreaks havoc by disrupting the radio signals and drugging his crew with sedatives. She then proceeds to drain the yacht of its fuel, which sets off an alarm that alerts the rest of the crew. She ends up facing Moretti's thugs, and Moretti soon shows up to fight her. However, he cowers against a wall while Helena traps him in a rope and then hands the rope to one of the girls who was being harassed by him. She gives them a choice to do whatever they want with him, and then escapes the yacht on Alessandro's motorboat. It is assumed that Moretti dies at the hands of the young girls in this issue while Helena heads back to Amalfi in time for Chairman Hassan's arrival. In the fifth issue, Helena creates a distraction when she sneaks into the hotel where Chairman Hassan is staying. While Chairman Hassan sends Mustafa to Moretti's villa in Capri, he asks for one of the girls named Layla for his entertainment. While Helena deals with the Chairman's guards, he realizes he is in danger and tries to sneak away through a hidden passage. Helena soon defeats the guards and follows him through the hidden passage to his safe room, where Layla's corpse is lying on the floor. The chairman assumes that his men have managed to defeat the Huntress, but she soon shows up in his safe room and kills him with her arrows. The issue ends with Mustafa watching a news broadcast about his father's death, and he blames the Italian ambassador for this. In the final issue, Mustafa realizes that the Huntress will come for him next, and he announces a billion euro bounty on her head. Helena has a hard time moving secretly, but she manages to dodge the police 
and even steals a boat to arrive at Moretti's villa in Capri. The next day, Mustafa wakes up and discovers that the Huntress has managed to break into his room. She aims her crossbow at him while he begs for his life and tries to reason with her. She finally decides against killing him and lets him go with a warning that she will kill him if he ever harms another young girl. She also addresses the bounty on her head and tells him that he must pay double that amount to a charity for women if no one manages to capture her in a year. After Mustafa agrees to both of these things, the Huntress states that she won't kill him if he keeps his promise and soon heads out. However, she has difficulty escaping the country due to the bounty placed on her head and Power Girl, aka Karen Starr, shows up in a private jet to rescue her. The two talk about how they had an exciting year on this new Earth, confirming the theory that they originally came from an alternate Earth after the crisis on Infinite Earth. World's Finest Helena and Power Girl continued to stay together and were by each other's side in the World's Finest story arc, wherein they were stranded on Earth Zero. In this comic, Helena's character's history was tweaked to fit the plot, and it was established that she used to work as Robin alongside Batman. After the fight between the heroes on Earth 2 and Apocalypse, Helena fell through a boom tube along with Earth 2's Supergirl and landed on Earth Zero. Supergirl later assumed the identity of Power Girl, also known as Kara Zor-El, and she worked alongside Helena to find a way to survive on this Earth. Helena uses all of her intel on Wayne Enterprises to trick her father's counterpart on Earth Zero and steal money from his company. After realizing there was no way to return to Earth 2, Helena and Supergirl settled on Earth Zero and made a new life for themselves. While Supergirl assumes a new identity as Karen Starr and builds an R&D company, Helena travels the world under various aliases, such as Helena Bertinelli, in order to fight crime. She keeps stealing money from Wayne Enterprises to fund her missions and continues to travel the world and fight crime as the Huntress. While criminals all over start fearing the Huntress, Karen Starr becomes quite successful and even discovers a way to return home. She invents a device and shares her plans with the Huntress, who is skeptical about Karen's plan. In the meantime, an entity named Haku goes on a rampage and destroys the device that would have enabled them to return home. While Huntress and Karen Starr work together to bring Haku under control, they realize that they do not have a way back home. Eventually, the Robin of Earth Zero, Damian Wayne, realized that someone was stealing from Wayne Enterprises and confronted the Huntress. While Helena tells him the truth about Earth 2 and how she had to resort to stealing from them, they eventually realize that Damien was tracing a different thief who was also stealing from the company. Huntress and Damien then work together to catch this thief, and Damien eventually promises to keep her identity a secret. Eventually, things start going downhill when someone starts attacking Helena's safe houses, and a man named Michael Holt also takes over Karen's company. They realize that there is a connection between the two, and they work together to track it down to an apocalyptan named Desaad, who had also ended up on Earth Zero during the battle on Earth 2. Things started escalating when Desaad sent more of his troops after Karen and Helena, but they eventually managed to get rid of him and open a portal back to Earth 2. Karen takes control of her company once again and invents a device that helps them return to their home. However, they soon realize that Earth 2 has now been taken over by Superman, who is leading an army of apocalypse warriors against the citizens. Helena Kyle in the Mainstream DC Universe In the Mainstream DC Universe, Helena was the daughter of Sam Bradley and Selina Kyle. This story was covered in the Catwoman comics in 2003, wherein Sam died on the same day that Selina learned she was pregnant. She soon quit her job as Catwoman and took on a new identity to have a safe life for herself and her daughter. She also took a new name, Irina Dubrovna, but this did not work out as she had to return to her role as Catwoman once again. When the supervillain named Film Freak figured out Catwoman's true identity, he teamed up with Angle Man to kidnap Helena. Selina arrived at the scene and rescued her daughter, soon realizing that she would endanger Helena's life by keeping her. She then approached Bruce Wayne and asked him to arrange for someone to adopt Helena. What was the Huntress really like? The Huntress had many different forms in various DC comics and shows, but she was essentially a fighter dedicated to protecting Gotham. She usually appeared as a young girl in the form of Helena Kyle, and she had a specially designed bodysuit for when she ventured out to fight crime as the Huntress. Helena had blue eyes and short black hair, and she was a fierce warrior who inherited her parents' fighting spirit. In some versions, she even had her mother's enhanced skills and the ability to shift her eyes into a feline form. The Huntress never backed down from a mission, and she was especially very determined to protect her family's reputation and image. In certain live actions, Helena Kyle had short hair and a brooding appearance, wherein she dressed in all black and came across as a fierce character with an authoritarian personality. She also refrained from killing people unnecessarily, and often used a trick to make her opponents fall unconscious instead of harming them physically. At the end of the day, the Huntress was dedicated to making the world a better place in any way she could.
And why don't you carry any weapons? I am the weapon. She was an integral part of the Birds of Prey series. Huntress was also one of the main characters of the Birds of Prey live-action series that was released in 2002, wherein Ashley Scott portrayed the character. In this series, Helena was born and raised in New Gotham by Selina Kyle, who had kept her daughter a secret from Batman. While Batman was unaware of the fact that he had a daughter, Helena grew up with her mother and eventually became close friends with Barbara Gordon, who was coincidentally the Batgirl at the time. When Helena was just a teenager, one of Batman's enemies, Clayface, learned about his affair with Catwoman, and he went after her in an attempt to destroy anyone who was close to Batman. Clayface pushed Selina off a building, and Helena was present at the scene when her mother died in front of her eyes. She decided to avenge her mother's death, while Barbara Gordon went to court and legally adopted Helena. During this process, Helena finally learns that her father was none other than the wealthy Bruce Wayne, also known as Batman. Helena had a hard time coping with her mother's death, and struggles to form a bond with Batman. Eventually, Batman leaves Gotham while mourning Selina and asks Alfred to keep an eye on Helena for him. While her father leaves, Helena trains herself and begins developing her skills. She soon showcases similar reflexes and cat-like skills as her mother and possesses a sixth sense that warns her about any immediate danger. She soon undertakes the identity of the Huntress, while Barbara Gordon also gives up the mantle of Batgirl and starts working from behind computer screens under a new alias as the Oracle. Huntress starts working alongside the Oracle and the two set up a base at the Gotham Clock Tower and call themselves the Birds of Prey. While the citizens of Gotham soon praise Huntress, Helena struggles with some personal issues and seeks anger management therapy from a psychiatrist named Dr. Harleen Quinzel. However, Dr. Quinzel was actually Harley Quinn, who once used to work for the Joker and wished for Batman's destruction. Harleen learns all about the Birds of Prey from Helena, who continues to work as the Huntress and fights small-time crime in Gotham. She often captured criminals and left them at the steps of the police precinct, which helped her gain a reputation as an urban legend. One of these police detectives, Jesse Reese, was determined to uncover the Huntress's true identity. He eventually came face to face with her while investigating a case of high profile suicides. While Helena tries to convince Jesse that she is on the side of justice, he is reluctant to believe her and even tries to arrest her. However, the Huntress always manages to escape, and over time, Jesse starts trusting her and believes that she is valuable in the fight against crime. In the meantime, the Huntress also figures out that Clayface is responsible for her mother's death, and she teams up with Jesse to take her. Revenge. That's not what I want at all. What made Helena Wayne so powerful? While Helena did not possess any superpowers as such, she was pretty skilled in combat, martial arts, and archery as part of her training to become Gotham's protector. She followed a training program set up by her father and had a lot of expertise in combat. She was also at the peak of her physical condition and had superhuman speed, agility, and strength. She was also trained in acrobatics and was quite agile, just like her mother. Helena's parentage contributed significantly to her strength and power as she was raised in an environment that helped her in her training. Helena also carried various weapons and equipment in a utility belt that was a part of her costume. As the Huntress, she carried a mini crossbow and some other weapons such as explosives and batarangs. Besides being skilled in physical combat, Helena Wayne was also highly skilled as a detective and had access to a wide range of technology to aid her in her missions. Conclusion. To sum it all up, Helena Wayne was quite a powerful force as the Huntress, and she appeared in various media across the mainstream as well as alternate DC universes. She definitely proved her worth as Batman and Catwoman's daughter, and we hope to see more of her in upcoming DC content. And if you liked our content, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to us if you haven't already. Have a good one, be safe out there, and thanks for watching.